Texas Rangers second baseman Rugnet Odor will have his appeal hearing tomorrow on his eight game suspension for that punch we've all seen by now. And the Fort Worth barbecue joint that ran a promotion playing off of that smackdown right there may be asking Fort Worth police to investigate some over the top backlash it received. Some Blue Jays fans seem to have gotten out of line reacting to this t-shirt and the restaurant's promotion. Fox Sports' Brandon Todd is in Fort Worth right now with more. Brandon. Yeah, and Steve, you can imagine that backlash came mainly from Blue Jays fans. And the owner of Heim Barbecue back here says he gets that, that there's going to be smack talk between fans. But he says death threats is something completely different. 99% Rangers fans love it and 99% Blue Jays fans hate it. Not a lot of gray area for Travis Heim, owner of Heim Barbecue, but Blue Jays fans didn't see the humor in his idea to offer Rangers second baseman Rugned Odor free barbecue for life and the t-shirt to go with it. A lot of it was, uh, you suck, we don't like you, your barbecue's bad, like, you know, that's not a big deal. Heim, like other Rangers fans, cheered on Odor after he punched Jose Batista in the jaw during a game against the Toronto Blue Jays two Sundays ago. He got a friend to print these t-shirts and then made the food offer to Odor. First came the fake one-star food reviews, likely from Blue Jays fans, like this one that said the food had a smelly odor to it. Then came the voicemails. The Texas Rangers are a bunch of they're the worst baseball team I've ever seen, and you supporting them makes you a So you're an old man, your wife can go Rangers for right? Go Jays. And finally, Heim says the death threats. We love the Rangers, and, uh, you know, so you expect some negative feedback. You don't expect people saying they're going to come to your house and murder you. <laughs> That's where it's little over the line. Heim didn't play the threatening voicemail for us, saying instead that he's going to turn it over to the Fort Worth Police Department. His t-shirt sales, however, have been solid. And when his restaurant opens, he says he'll keep a lunch plate ready for Odor. I think more Rangers fans and Blue Jays fans will eat at our restaurant, so not too worried. <laughs> Again, he had about 300 T-shirts that he ordered, and he's going to be handing those out next week. But he's thinking, Stephen Heather, that probably from now on, those T-shirts will be just an in-store purchase. Yeah, all right. Brandon, just personally, that, that beeped-out phone call sounded very similar to the ones I've heard to the viewer's voice. Not on this topic, just on every topic imaginable. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you'll be getting more. <laughs> all right. Brandon Todd, thank you.